a neighborhood in Tucson, Arizona is looking to bring food to its residents. How you like that, that idiot senator in Minnesota? That town is Dunbar Springs, a neighborhood unlike any other. The urban food force, which began almost 30 years ago, provides food for residents and roughage for livestock. And the tree canopy also provides relief to residents in the third fastest warming city in the nation. It has made Dunbar Springs a model for other areas grappling with increased heat, drought, and food insecurity caused by the climate crisis for those of us that believe there is a crisis. Let's put up some photographs here to show before and after. And oh my God, do you see that? In the, in the before photo, very sparse trees. And then the after, look at that. And we know that trees emit that oxygen that we need. They make the air beautiful and they decrease heat. Almost 30 years later, Neighborhood foresters have planted more than 1,700 trees and thousands more plants, understory plants, transforming Dunbar Springs into an urban food forest fed by rainwater. Thank the Guardian for this report. This evolved into a simple water harvesting, what Lancaster calls planting the rain by using gravity and curb cuts to direct water from paved surfaces into planted street side basins that capture water. It is indeed a community effort. Seven priorities of the Dunbar Spring neighborhood foresters, enhancing the public commons, build community, planting and native planting a native tree, select native plants with multiple uses and benefits, plant the rain and fertility before you plant the plant. Leaves are called leaves because we are supposed to leave them, hello somebody, and enhance public access to and through the growing neighborhood forest. This is our good news for today, Jackson. I am just really thrilled about what they are doing in Dunbar. Absolutely, and this is a great example of the power of community and local politics and things like that. Um, successes from local examples is what leads to statewide policies and federal policies to be able to point to uh, real data and show how things worked, what did and what didn't work. And um, you know, again, it's why uh, people should not just be involved in the voting process in their communities, but run for city council, run for those positions. Because the more people that we have that are like minded in local positions, that's how we'll be able to grow our movement further and further up to the federal level. Here it is, and really do something to change communities. And I'm glad that Jackson brought that up. Oftentimes we get seduced by the shiny object, which is the federal government, but it is not the only level of government. We should definitely stay in tune to what is happening on the state, regional, and local levels of government. We can indeed be that change and make that change.